Good morning, everybody. Replay viewers, thank you for replay. Make sure you go ahead and share this video. That's the biggest support that you can do. I want to get on here and thank everybody for the support, continue to support, and everything like that. Today, we're going to be at Government and Barrancas in the parking lot of the Emerald Republic Brewery. I'm also asking you guys to go to www.vippensacola.com and vote for us daily, once per email, for best food truck, best burger, and best appetizer. We have a post up with all three of those links. All you have to do is hit like, tag, share, and follow. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, first scene, and all of that. And vote daily at VIPPensacola.com. Fresh Food Factory food truck, best burger, and best appetizer. I'm going to wash my hands. We're going to do a little prep today. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I definitely had an experience of a lifetime this weekend, thanks to the district. Thank you to the district for uh, the great anniversary dinner and everything else. So, I'm starting to get a little ready for the day. Getting ready for the day. Probably get ready to prep some tots here in a minute. Cleaning my window ledges being started for the day, you know, that's what we do, Every, even though it's already clean, we get in here, we give it a little freshen up for the day, so, kind of weird, I don't see no comments yet, but then again, Facebook could, so if I don't see any comments here in a second, I'll restart. Right now, I'm just going to prep up some tots and fries. Or tots, at least. Good morning, Quita. Good morning, Johnny. Oh, that number's it, Joanne. That's okay. Hey, I would still do this even if there was one person. Been doing it from day one, started with one, and now look. Know. You got to be humble about what you get. You know what I'm saying? So I'll prep up. Be leaving here. Go do a little shopping. Got to go get a case of coke, some spring leaf lettuce. Uh, burger tomatoes. Should be getting this over here. Get this ready. Oh, give me my own notification. Let me know five minutes later I'm live. Hey. It only took 20 minutes. Loading up all our clean dishes, ready for the meat.
up, Yanni. Don't forget, Al Alabama. I think, I think, I think, uh, I think Roger just comes in here to say me, hear somebody in Florida, Florida holler, Alabama. We got rain here right now. We're, it's raining right now. Uh, it's supposed to rain for about the next hour or so. I'm hoping so, Yanni. I got uh, I got two days this week. I'm gonna try to pull. What up, Miss Charlotte? How you doing, young lady? Or should I say, Chef Charlotte? Just prepping my tots for the morning. What? It is almost Florida weather where it's going to rain daily. No, I know you do, Roger. I, 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 I know you do. I appreciate you, Roger. I'm just being a sarcastic. Good morning, Miss Sarah. How you doing? I hope everybody has a great day. So, just just getting our thoughts. It's easier for me to do it this way than pull the bag out. Blue, 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 blue. You know, I've already proven that. That's a fact. It's faster on time. You get quality, you know, portion control as well. That's why I do this. These are the unseen hours that nobody talks about. It takes a lot. Good afternoon in Wales. It is afternoon time over there. Look at that. We're across the world. We we go, our show goes across the world. We go across the pond to the UK, Scotland, Ireland, Australia, Wales, everywhere. This time of the morning, it's their afternoon. We appreciate their support. Make sure you all visit. The, uh, the, I have a post up. I share the post every day. It has three links. Those three links are to vote at, uh, for, for uh, some awards here in Pensacola through the VIP Pensacola. Uh, a lot of y'all might say, why? I've never been to your truck. Why should I vote, vote for you, best food truck? Well, why should you vote for me, best food truck, even though you haven't visited me and or tried my food? Number one reason, I come original. This is the only original live broadcast here in my area. I started it, I'm doing it, and I've been doing it. That's one. Number two, all five of our health reports since day one we've been open have all resulted in zero violations on each visit. And three of those were pop-ups. Hi James, we're so and so with the health department. We'd like to come in and do inspection. Come on in. All of those have resulted in violations. Zero violations, excuse me. That's reason number two. Number three. My dedication to trying to grow my business, grow my food truck, get out there, do as much as I can. I make a happy paycheck, not just a paycheck. I consider everybody who supports me, from the past, present, and anybody in the future, you're a supporter, not a customer. You're a supporter and a guest. That's how I look at that. A customer, to me, the wording of a customer is just a buck. And your support to me 
is worth more than that almighty dollar. Even though it takes that almighty dollar to make to make a business run and everything, but it also takes pride, passion, integrity, and like Miss Charlotte says, I'm the bomb. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I didn't just dab on that ass, did I? Good morning, Tisha. Appreciate you voting. Saw you riding around yesterday on Copter Road. Yes, Brett, uh, I was. I appreciate you, Roger. Yeah, uh, went over my buddy, my my buddy's house, Ronnie, and we had to get my tail lights and my headlights uh, figured out why my blinkers and stuff weren't working. And one side of my fuse panel up there isn't working. So what he did is he did some redneck engineering and ran a wire from one hot fuse to another hot fuse. So I'm able to have brake lights and tail lights and. Uh, find out if I can order a fuse panel for this truck. Also, this week, if I can have a good week this week, I, God knows do I need it. Um, everybody knows I'm planning a big trip next month. So I got to make sure that my truck is in the tip-top shape. You, you know what I mean to go on this trip? I'm doing a a minimum 10 city stop here in the state of Florida. And uh, I'll be traveling from the panhandle where I'm at to uh, the Keys. Good morning, Juliana. Juliana. Miss Mendez. Um, so I got to make sure that my truck is in great shape. This week, we noticed that the springs on my truck, my buddy Ronnie's gonna do some investigation and find out. The spring on the back end of my truck, okay, springs are meant to be like this, right? That's what holds your vehicle up and it gives like this. My back one, back there, that back left, okay, this side, the reason I'm tilting is because all the weight on that side, okay? So the one in the back has done this. It is starting to, you know, curve down. That means all the weight's on that side. So what we gotta do is we gotta try to get the weight off of it. He's gonna find out today or tomorrow if we could put four inch blocks, if they make them that big, to find out about that. So. That's what I was doing over there. I'm four inches leaning that way. So, yeah, I was over there at, at my buddy's house. We were working on the truck to make sure I'm prepped and good for the trip. And the daily driving as well. Got to keep up maintenance on, on these. A lot of people don't realize, hey, we're also maintaining very big trucks. So sometimes that comes with a very big expense. So for everybody that thinks, oh, you're just smashing it, making millions, or whatever, you know, it, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Maintaining one of these is like maintenance in two to three vehicles. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, we got to make sure that my truck is on tip-top shape point everything. Oh shit, watch out. Akron, Ohio. What up, what up, what up? Well, I appreciate it, Ryan. Good morning, Newfoundland in the house. You can use a hockey puck? You can use a hockey puck? Hockey puck for what? Huh? I'm lost. I guess I'm a... South of France is in the house. I told y'all our videos go worldwide. We go all the way to France. Appreciate you, Miss Rochelle. Appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for the support. So, you know, it does take a lot. 
it ain't all about just keeping the equipment up inside here. You know, that's a lot. So we're going to be doing, I got to, this week I'm going to, I put up a post this morning, and then all of a sudden the post is gone. Oh, it got recorded. I forgot to say that. The post got recorded. And I'm like, how did, how is that a negative post? It's posting my schedule for the week. Anyways, today I'll be on the corner of Barrancas and Government at Emerald Republic Brewery's parking lot. Tomorrow, I'll probably be in the Camp Tonin area off Highway 29. Thinking about possibly setting up at where my buddy's job is. We'll, we're seeing Wednesday. I am gonna try, gonna try to do double duty and pace. I'm gonna try to do a, din a lunch, and I'm maybe thinking about doing a dinner and pace. Thursday at nighttime, I will be off Chamukla Highway doing movie night in the park. During the day. I'm waiting on a spot to contact me back and let me know uh, about being there Thursday. Friday to Friday night is being discussed right now with the brewery because they can open the, the brewery that helps been supporting me and I've been supporting them from day one. Definitely shout out to Newfoundland and Miss Sue for making my apron. I appreciate it. Oh, Ryan, hey, they're not they're not haters. They're motivators. We got London and Rehezy. Gar what up, Garland? I can't see some of the comments. I used to do them. Do a lift eight inches. Morning, Donna. Yes, maintenance is expensive. Thank you for your vote, Donna. Appreciate it. Just doing that right now. It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs right now. Supposed to for about the next hour. Supposed to clear up around 8 to 8.30. Some, something like that. So. I know. Exactly. That's why I didn't do it, Chrissy. Because you were expecting it. Uh-huh. 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 Because my ears were burning. Going like this. When it says Christy is watching, well, whoever Christy is around or is also watching this, she's going to say something like, watch this. When James sees me, he's going to do this. Reverse. Gotcha this time. <laughs> Expected it. What forecast are you looking at? It's supposed to rain all day. Uh, then I'm screwed. Because I don't have a canopy on my truck. I thought it was supposed to be clear until 4 o'clock. 25? That's, that's too cold for me. 25 is too cold. Every day work, every day pay. A plane never quits and a Twitter never wins. Help, help folks in need and don't fall for greed. Huh?
anything, don't show it. That's right. Be strong. I, yeah, Christy, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. I need it to clear up. I spent $500 yesterday on meat and didn't get squat. Well, of course, in Florida, anybody could be a meteorologist. All you gotta do is go outside and look at the sky and go, yeah, there's a possibility it might rain today and it might not. Ha ha, he said if the truth is what you want, you found your old man. That's why the song suits me. I won't back down. I don't back down. Cowards back down. I'm not saying, you know, today's positive Monday, optimism. Just get out there and do what I can today. Maybe one day I can get an awning on this. Hopefully on our little tour next month, I'll be able to do that. Hopefully I can go out there and do it. Facebook blocked my... Yes, sir. Hurricane sees. Good morning, Jeannie. Yeah, ask no question, I'll tell you no lie. I'm not Pinocchio. I have no reason to hide. I'm a poet that didn't know it. I gotta turn this on. That's copyrighted. Talking about the southern land. That's where we're at. We're in the southern land. We got these mushrooms right here. We're getting ready to hook up. Around here. A drink of beer. Make sure, hey, I uh, forgot, I'm sure everybody is here. I'm, yeah, Donna, actually, you won't see me address any negative comments on my page anymore. Matter of fact, nobody even needs to engage with them. You, you know what I mean? You need to come and get some of those? Oh, the ranch mushrooms? You want, you want the ranch mushrooms, or do you want the ranch Mushrooms. Thank you for voting, Jeannie. What up, Macho Man? What up, brother? How it is. Right. 
I really hope the weather does lighten up. I don't have a I don't have a canopy thingy like those RDs do. I'd like to get one. That would be freaking awesome. But the maintenance on the truck for my road trip is first. Back to work, yes ma'am. Back to work. It's another man, it's Monday. I wish it were Sunday. Anybody know who sings that song? Manic Monday? You're old if you do. If you answer it, we'll know your age. It's just another Manic Monday. Got to keep looking at comments over here. Good morning, Redoni. Redoni. Let's get it, Macho. Meat prices have skyrocketed. Do you want to know what I paid for meat yesterday? You want me to show you? I'll post my receipt. Actually, I can show you right now. This box of bacon used to be. 26 to 28 vice versa $40 40 or 80 20 used to be around 21 to 23 Thank you Miss Mendez um, it, like I said 21 to 23 then it Gradually, gradually, and then all of a sudden, bing, bang, boom! Right here. Here, you want me to show you what I paid? Forty-three, forty-eight for that. Forty-three, forty-eight. So you figure. Out of this, and that's for. This is a nine point six pound. It's four fifty-two a pound. Okay. So I might get about, this one's nine and a half, so I might get about 23. You know what I mean? So, now my first nine burgers, my first nine burgers sucks up everything. Okay? And that's, a, that's right there. Okay? Then you figure all that. Now my cost is almost the for the cost for me to do a burger I'm selling for six is almost at three. So there goes anything right there. To make sure I had burger meat, I went in there five different times and bought single rolls. So, add that up. So, we're killing it. So, if any other places are doing burgers for four dollars, five dollars, little six dollar burger meals just to get business. It's called the shit burger. It's called the shit burger with a Sam's Club bun. Not Sam's made buns from there. Good morning Mr. Joseph. No chicken ain't much cheaper than Christy. No ma'am. What up, Biggs? Yeah, bro. We talked last night on on your uh, thing. We can't. We can't, man. Bro, everybody knows. They're, they're, people that are not in the industry, here. People that are not in the industry, our, our, our profit margins in smaller businesses outside of everything else, your profits are, are like three to five percent. It's not very much. And then
Ours has been too... Uh, what did I pay yes, the other day? What did I pay? What's this? Uh, I, I did $17 for 10 pounds. Appreciate you, Zachary. But not every... See, I'm just not a chicken truck. People come to me because of my burgers. They love my burgers. So, you know, each one of my custom buns are 60 cents each. You know, then you got lettuce and tomato and onion, pickle, mayo, mustard, ketchup, plus the time. The profit margins ain't there like people think they are. So this, that food cost right there, I can't go up on my prices. You, you know what I mean? So, but I am this week. What I am going to do is we, we have the tax figured in with our price. That's why they're, the prices are what they are. But, I will be making a notice, or uh, I'll be doing another, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it on a different video, uh, because I'll have my GoPro on, and I'm going to record me doing that, and then I'll put that up, and do that as an, uh, a, a post. But, this week, we're gonna, all our menu items are going to be, uh, you know, if it's $6, it's going to be $6.00 going to be six dollars plus tax that's what i'm going to be adding to make up for the cost i mean i just showed it i didn't even get 10 pounds and it was 40 might as well say by the time you get done with tax and all that it's right around 46 bucks for 9.6 10 pounds wisconsin with a white team you see what i'm saying so this week we're going to be adding the tax to all our menu items to help Substitize some of the loss in the high food cost. I mean, I, I have to. I, I, I won't be able to sustain. Even, I mean, even chicken, it, it, you know. The other food cost is going up. It, it's, it's bread and, you know, cheeses. Uh, Friday, Friday, uh, a, a five-pound bag of four-cheese shredded cheese that we use was $12. Went yesterday and it was 13 It jumped a dollar in two days. looking out my window. I see sun, but not enough. <laughs> I see sun, but not enough. I hope it don't rain for long, much longer. You can almost guarantee you it's going to rain sometime of the day in Florida, starting the end of May, the beginning of June, until the end of October. You can guarantee it. Somewhere, every day, will rain. So, that's a guarantee. Might not be this side of town, but it will be the other side of town where you're going, you know what I mean? Right, Christy? No, 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 no. Well, I, I haven't done it in the year that I've been open. You see what I'm saying? So, I, I, I'm not going to go up the full dollar. For, for me to eat some of the cost, you know, uh, and I can't eat all the cost because with that meat being doubled, my my profit margin ain't there to, to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, I'm going to have to at least add that in with it. And, and I think 99% of the people are going to understand. That's why I'm going to do a regular video on my GoPro and try to download it on there instead of doing it on a live. And, it, you know, 
explain, hey, you, you, you haven't been da 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 da, you know what I'm saying. then some people go, oh, it's a food truck, you don't charge tax. Gosh dang, just because it's a food truck doesn't mean you should charge tax. Food trucks ain't exempt from tax. It's just customary for us to include that in with the price, just so we don't have to deal with change. Upon many other reasons. That's why. Oh, you're a food truck. You should, because, you know, I don't, I know what the comments are going to be. Oh, you haven't been doing it, you know. Then i got to explain myself and, you know, they look, you, you know, it's, it's good. That's why I'm going to do a video explaining it. Because it's plain and simple economics. When you go out and panic buy everything on the shelves and they can't get it fast enough, you call it, it, I, I'm just being honest, people that did that and do that, that's why the market's in supply and demand and economics and now it's going to be inflation. Now it's going to be the new normal price and that's what's going to knock small businesses down. So that is why we're going to be doing everything that we do plus tax. I have to add the tax. Well, I'm going to have to explain it, Dina, when people come to the window and go, oh, it used to be $6. You, you know what I mean? Oh, it used to be this. Then I got to explain to them. So either way, I'm gonna have to explain it. But it's all good. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. Hey, and it's also like this. It's not really a, a it, it well, it's going to be a survival of the fittest, but how well you adapt to that is how universal you can be. If it gets to the point where I can't afford certain meat and stuff like that, there's other things that I can do. Believe that. I'll make a top ramen out of the cupboard. Makes like make taste like a ten dollar meal, and you won't know it. Well, you know because it's ramen, but ah, uh, where's my other? Could have swore I had more portion. There they are. You know, because it, it, our industry is the world's number one. Listen, look it up. Our industry is the most criticized in the whole world. This food industry is the most criticized in the whole world. And criticism in a restaurant industry... Everybody talks about it. Why? Because everybody eats food. Everybody goes out places. So when you do certain things, and then people, oh, well, I would go support, but now he jacked his prices up with tax. And, you know, in our industry, it's just as easy as to go down the road and get something else. But also remember, at the same time, in our industry, when you do go down the road to get something else at one of those places that have super cheap prices, remember this, 
Good food ain't cheap, and cheap food ain't good. And what I mean by that is, what I mean is, what I mean. If it's that cheap, they're not getting it at too much of a difference than anybody else. Because... Those services are the same across the board. You know what I mean? Plus, they probably don't clean their place. They probably don't have soap and water. They, you know, stuff like that. They have violations, stuff like that. You know, so really think about that. If you're getting a, a $2 burger, hey, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a $2 burger. But, you know... The strong will survive, and I'm strong. I've been I've, I've been going like this for a year, and and a year and a couple months. So I'm trying to be in that realm of staying going. And I just dropped all those all over the place. Thank God it was on the grill. I was hoping to wear my GoPro today. I was hoping to be kind of, you know, do 20, 30 orders maybe. Yeah, my, 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 what up Tyson? Yeah, it, it, it's okay. I don't think I'll, I'll get a lot of negative feedback from the local supporters. I really don't. A lot of my local supporters who visit us uh, watch my videos and they understand. I mean, like, our, our burgers, you know, hey, shots fired, shots fired. Uh, our burgers are, are all craft gourmet. I, I mean, we don't use cheap shit. We don't use those little 50 cent or we'll say 2 cent burger buns. What up, India? Uh, we don't use those cheap generic buns, uh, uh, Barrancas and government. We don't use those little cheap buns. We have craft gourmet made buns. So yeah, if you want a cheap ass product with cheap stuff like that, a burger with some nasty shredded lettuce on it, go get it. The voting goes from all the way till May 31st at 11:59. You can vote once a day per email. So that means if you have a work email, personal email, do your kids have an email? Hey, log in and sign every day at VIPPensacola.com and vote for the Fresh Food Factory food truck as the best food truck, best burger, and best appetizer. There's... There's... Yes, sir, Joseph. Yes, you can vote once a day per email. Per email, get on your mamas, get on your daddies, get on your daughters, get on your sons, get on your brother, get your sister. Make sure when you go there and you go to VIP Pensacola, copy the link, share it. Tell them, say, hey, help out. Because winning those awards would be nothing less than a great start to my little Florida tour documentary thing for next month. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Christy, Christy, Christy. Yeah, I'm hope. Uh, there it is. I'm like, man, where'd that rag go? See the good thing about doing prep right here? Watch this. Lift this up and slide it over here to the hole. Slide it over there to the drop hole. Now all I gotta do is wash it. 
And I'll do that after I... Uh, hold on, I need to check this rain. Oh, it's only sprinkling and not raining. So, hold on a second. Okay, it's starting to sprinkle, but clouds are all freaking over. Like, literally. All over. I pray that this goes away. Gosh, please clear up. Please clear up. Gotta get my roll of paper towels put up there. If I can remember the passwords. Hey, create a new email account. Yeah, Chad, I'll try to pin that. Actually, here, you know what? Let me see something. Can I make a comment? Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I think I just posted a link. Because I copied a post earlier and tried to do that. I think I just did that. Canada! What up, Mike, in Canada? Really want to quench your thirst? Oh, Mike. Mike. That was. Dude, if I was on death row and that was my last meal, I could have died a happy man just from that meal. Now, I even told the chef that and I told the general manager that. Now what we gotta get? I got burgers. I got chicken. I could do that when I get there. I put that in there. I put that in there. Everything is already done there. I did all that earlier. Uh, I don't even know if I should cut up that many burgers. I got a full pan. I got a full pan. I guess I could up. I could cut one roll. But then again, I don't want to cut. Oh well. I'll decide here shortly. It is 8 o'clock. So, I do got to go somewhere and get a full pack of coke or a case of coke. Uh, got to refill my, pe my pepper. Do that later. We clean those every night. Every night gets a pan flop. Topped up on my sauces. Yes, sir. I got backups. When those ones go down, I got backups. I, those ones go down, I put I put a new one out. Hey, I could charge this. I hope I, do, I hope I do a little bit today. I want to get some footage on my GoPro. Good morning. What up, Amanda? 
We appreciate you, Miss Dina. Yeah, it's supposed to clear up later on this afternoon. But one day, maybe, uh, maybe I'll get one of those RV things, that canopy thing. Yeah, that's just more to it. Haul around, Mike. Dude, James, that thing is crazy. A lot, Amanda. A lot more. I could. There is no way I can sustain that cost right now. My meat, my meat prices on all meat just doubled. Oh, it did. It didn't load. Okay, Chad. Well, there's a post. I have a previous post up. There's a previous post from this morning and a couple of days ago that just has the the thing for the hyperlinks to go and vote. Yeah, I could man, my meat doubled. I paid forty four fifty eight for nine point six pounds. And then bacon is double as well. So I I couldn't those those containers are way more than I could afford right now. You know what I mean? Uh, see, I got the GoPro ready. I want to get some footage of, uh, what up, Maurice? What up, brother? One out of, one out of a hundred would, Amanda. So I got my GoPro set up. Um, I just got to adjust the angle a little bit, and I'll do that before I go live today at 11. It filming from here. When I did it the other day, the footage was upside down, so it sucked. I was like, man. So today I'm going to wear the headgear for a little bit, and we have the voice control on. See, I could do like this. Uh, GoPro, turn on. GoPro, turn on. GoPro, turn on. Hold on, what happened? GoPro, turn on. Oh, GoPro, turn on. Oh, it's making me look like a liar. Well, anyways, it does work. Or at least it's supposed to. I'm going to try it. What up, Jeffrey? I'm going to try to get footage with it on my head today of cooking. I don't know how much, I don't know how long I'll be able to handle something on my face like that. But I'm going to give it a try. Because, see, I can show you guys this. Watch. Let's see if this will connect. This is how I get my... Okay, where is it at? There's the GoPro app. Alright, we're supposed to be able to... I don't know. Go to settings. Anyways, it's not doing it on this one. I could do it on my phone, though. With the tablet, it says go to settings. Oh, there it is. Never mind. It said ignore it. Control your GoPro. So, I can control the GoPro from my phone or the tablet to be able to get the viewing of when I put something on or have it set up somewhere. Right here. See that? See everywhere I'm looking now? This, that's what I'm going to try to get the view of. See? So, I'll set this up right here. So, let's see. 
I, I'll just, I'll just set it right here for now. Even though it's probably going to slide. And then I just do like this, I'll have to undo it. See, I got to get like I'm cooking. There we go. And now I can view it right there and make adjustments. on how my you know you gotta get act like you're cooking right there I think Yeah, I think that's going to be a good angle. So, I'm going to try to get some footage like that today. What up, Miss Barbara? Oh, oh, you didn't know we all fancy now? You didn't know? You didn't know Fresh Food Factory has a production uh, crew now. It's called the GoPro Hero 8. <laughs> yeah, we, we, I, I'm trying to record the, my documentary here. You know what I'm saying? It's time for me to do a boil out on my fryer. The back is getting all black. So, I want to get it to where you see live action when I'm cooking and working. You know what I mean? Bing, bang, boom. See, I got I to gotta adjust it. Got to unscrew it. Bring it down just a little bit probably because I don't... I'm not all the time have this over. I squat more than anything. So, I'm going to have to, you know, I don't want it going down toward my growing area all the time, but I don't look forward, but I don't look straight down like that. But, you know, get the right angle. Like that. See, I gotta look at it to make sure that Oh, it is. there we go. And it'll even show and it'll even show the sink where we wash our hands. What so put the iPad on chopping board. Yeah, I got, I got it. It'll work. Yeah, next Monday's a holiday, Memorial Day. That's actually our, our anniversary is actually next Saturday. But my wife has to work. But yeah, we're good there. I got the gangster angle. Y'all, yeah, I'll, I'll get a video soon. Yeah, I think we got somewhat of a decent angle. Appreciate it, Hal. Yeah. I'll be on government in Barrancas, providing weather. Stay tuned for weather alerts. Yeah, well, I'm watching myself, uh, Christy. I'm kind of watching myself to make sure that the footage that I'm going to be able to get it's going to be good because I'm not an editor. When, I, when that video goes up, you're getting raw video. I don't know, Amanda. I haven't decided yet. I think I might go. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Oh, are you coming to see me today? Because then I'll bring those, uh, those wristbands.
that was given to me in my gift box from Emery King. And I told you I'd bring you those. I'll, I'll bring some of those. I know, Christy. You're a herring. You're a herring. So, we got my... Watch this. Look. Watch this, guys. Okay, see this? You see the angle? Watch. GoPro, turn off. Oh, did you hear that? GoPro, turn on. Then it'll take a second to connect. Yeah, I'll be there providing the weather, Amanda. Well, it's going to connect. Just takes a second on the hotspot. But anyways, I'm going to try to wear it for a little bit today. And then that way people can see, you know, from this angle what and how I'm doing and stuff like that. Um, I can even control the starting of the recording and, and, and the word STO, you know. Yeah, Amanda, uh, I'm hoping it does. It's projected to. Um, yes. I need it to. It's Monday. I spent $500 yesterday on, well, close to it, I'll, I should say, because of the meat price is being doubled, you know, uh, but that's okay, we're going to remain optimistic, come on, turn on, connect, I don't know why it's not connecting, but it will, I don't need for it to connect later, I could do it, I could do it on my phone easier than have this hooked to the hotspot and whatnot. So, uh, GoPro turn off. There it is. Well, you can order online, Amanda. You ain't even got, yeah, order online. Bing, bang, boom. James will have it done for you, I hope. So, yeah, we could do like this. GoPro turn on. And then all I have to do is tell it to do its thing. Yes, ma'am, Miss Amanda. So all I got to do is give the command and it'll start uh, taping. I appreciate it, Amanda. I love all the support, everybody. Thank you for all the support. And the best way to support me, even though it ain't one way and it ain't another, is everybody can go to VIPPensacola.com and vote for the Fresh Food Factory for Best Food Truck, vote the Fresh Food Factory for the Best Burger, and vote Fresh Food Factory for the Best Appetizer. That's the biggest support you could give as well. Plus, always sharing the video, and you're not hungover. Oh, that means I don't have to come up with a special dish. All right, guys, I'm going to get off this. I got some few other things to do. Um, I'm actually going to, uh, I don't want to do it on live. I'm going to do it with my GoPro. I appreciate it, Amanda. Um, I'm going to get off live so I can do the action that this GoPro is for and show the process of us cutting some vegetables and, can, and uh, shoot. You would, you would have got a good shot there if my dentures come flying out like they almost did. Whoa! See, that would have been a good shot, I guess, but not too good. I'd have to throw that out and put that in the deleted scenes. I'd have had to put that in the dis deleted scenes of the video. But anyways, um, I'm going to record me cutting up our meat and stuff like that so I can get some video footage and documentary. 
here with the GoPro. So, I'm out of here, y'all. Stay tuned. I'll be live at somewhere around 11 o'clock. I'll be located at, uh, at Barangas and Government. Um, but also stay tuned for weather changes. That would definitely be one of the bloopers. That would be in the uncut, raw, edited version. And who knows? I might even do it. I might even do it. I got a spare denture. I got my old one because these ones are new. Uh, I got my old one. I might do it just for a funny video. Who knows? I'll holler at y'all later.